Trust me, you guys, I didn't expect to be making a video today either, but here we are. I don't know, I just kind of feel like I have some sort of an obligation when it comes to making videos based on Ninjago set images for the new year. If you guys didn't know, one of my very first videos to ever blow up on my channel was way back in 2014 or 2013, I believe, when I covered the Season 3 Ninjago rebooted sets. That was one of the very first videos that helped me gain traction in this community and gave the notoriety to my name where it still stands today and we have a fantastic set right here that was first revealed to us and this is 71776 J and Nia's race car Evo now there's gonna be a lot of Evo sets in this wave uh, I didn't really particularly uh, think of making a video on the set names just because they weren't really that interesting uh, looking back at it in hindsight uh, but there's gonna be a lot more sets with Evo in the title so get ready for that um, and this race car I'm assuming could evolve hence Evo in the title or maybe this is the evolved version uh, we don't know yet but right off the bat I do have to say that Lego is kind of overstaying their welcome with these serpentine villains I mean this is how many seasons in now or serpentine villains are going to be some of the main characters in a Ninjago season and they do come Kind of resemble the pyro whippers that we saw before in season 11 using that same orange kind of tone and i could only assume for the dual molding and the headpiece there's also going to be translucent orange as well now i don't know if i'm the only one but i do also kind of get these dragon hunter vibes when it comes to the chopper this helicopter in the set back from hunted it just looks really similar in the build and the color scheme however it does use some nice turquoise colors to kind of distinguish itself from those villains builds but I do have to say it does look kind of familiar maybe a little nostalgic hint to some old Ninjago fans so nothing really too bad to talk about there and the build is decent for what it is I'm sure that this is going to be you know a 40 to 50 dollar set I'd be surprised if it retailed for 60 dollars in the United States um, but we do get a really nice looking race car build which is kind of interesting because we have kind of gotten a, one of these before with rebooted funny enough um, I believe that was the X1 Ninja Charger, but that was more of Kai's car, and it really didn't have that much of a main focus when it came to the season, didn't really play that much of a big role, and I'm assuming that each ninja is going to have a personalized Evo vehicle in this season, so it only makes sense that this vehicle right here would play more of a major role in this particular season. And we do get Nia, which surprisingly is in her human form. Now, I don't really want to dive into spoilers for Seabound, since I really haven't covered the season all that much so if you guys did not watch that season i suggest to click off the video now but nia is in her human form which is odd right because she turned into this water looking monster thing that and then she just became one with the ocean so it's really surprising to see nia back in her human form this quick after seabound um and we do get of course two of these I don't even know what to call them. I guess orange snakes for now. And Jay as well, of course, since he's going to be the one operating this vehicle. Um, the build on it, once again, I just have to say, it does look really good. The only thing is, once again, it's a race car, you know? So I don't really know how that's going to tie into the whole Ninjago theme since, you know, it's about ninjas. And it isn't really anything traditional that we've seen before in Ninjago. So I'm hoping that this isn't just going to be a race car theme for the set wave. But you never know what LEGO has in store. I'm sure that's not going to be the case. But once again, this does look like a pretty solid $40 to $50 set. And I don't really have that many complaints with it. Besides the chopper looking not really on par with the build as compared to this race car. But let me know what you guys think about this down in the comments. What do you guys think about this build in this set overall, not to mention the box art? The box art looks kind of plain and simple, and although I do like plain and simple, you know, box arts, this one to me looks a little bit on the cheaper end. I don't know if I'm necessarily that much of a fan of it, so I really am curious to hear what you guys think about this down in the comments below. Be sure to let me know. And hopefully I'll catch you guys in another Ninjago video. With that being said, y'all, take care and peace.